In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very famous interview problem find pair with given sum in an array. It is also known as two sum problem. So the problem statement is given an array of integers, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. And here is some assumptions. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So for example, this is my array and I have to find a pair whose sum is equal to 18. So if we see the number present at first index and number present in second index, if we add these two numbers, then my sum is equal to 18. So I return indices first and second. So in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss two approaches and their time complexities to solve this problem. So the first approach is the easiest one. So uh, this is the brute force approach. So in brute force approach, what we do is uh, we run a true loop. Uh, the This one is my outer loop. This is my inner loop. And so we pick two uh, from this array and subtract it with the target value. So now the number remains is 16 and we search is the 16 present in rest of the uh, in this array if it's present we found it found the pair so let's dry run this code so this is my array so i'll start the outer loop from uh, 0 to less than uh, array length and my inner loop start from i plus 1 so if my i start from 0 then my j start from i plus 1 so first indices so here in in this in this condition what uh, we are comparing is so the number present at first index so num j is so the value of j is 1 so the number present at first index 7 is equal to target minus the number present at ith index so ith index is 0 i index is 0 so the number present at 0th index is 2 so is 7 is equal to 16 so no so this condition won't execute now let's um, move to next element is 7 is equal uh, is 11 is equal to 16 no let's move to next element is 15 is equal to 16 no so now uh, the value of i is incremented and we move to next element which is 7 and the value of j moves to 11 so the value of i is now 7 and if we subtract 7 from 18 then we have to find 11 and the j will start from i plus 1 so it will start from this so at i plus 1 11 is present yes we have found so the num j is equal to equal to target minus num i so we have found the two indices whose sum is equal to 18 and it's present at 7 and 11 so we have returned the value from here and so this is the brute force approach but the time complexity of this approach is o n square can we reduce it to o n yes we can reduce it to o n by using hash map so let's move to our second approach in which what we are doing is so let me explain through the example so let's draw a hash table and so what i'm doing here is so in this uh so what this piece of code does is here i have declared a map map of integer integer so it means its key is also integer and its value is also integer so we create a map of key key is my number and value is its indexes so in this so when we run this code so this piece of code what it does is, is create key value pair so key is my number and value is its indexes so, so 2 is present at 0 and index 7 is present at 
first index 11 is present at second index and 15 is present at third index so we have created a map why ha why we uh, why we have created a map so that so in ha in map so our lookup will be o1 if there is no collision then we can easily uh, find an element in o1 using a key and we get its value so we have created a map of number and its indexes now in second loop so in this loop what we are doing is we are traversing an array and we are searching so suppose at first index the number present is uh, at zeroth index the number present is zero so here we are subtracting target to the number present so we have to we we are looking 16 now the target is 18 and number present at zeroth index is 2 so if we subtract it so we get 16 so we directly checking in a map is 16 is present in a map so uh, we have so the number here is our key in a map so that's why we are checking is nub map dot contains key this number so is 16 is present in any of the key so no so it won't run this code and now the value of i is incremented and we move the next value is 7 and now we have uh, 18 minus 7 11 now we are checking is number is this map contains key 11 yes it's contain this key 11 at second indexes and in second condition we are checking if the index of this number is not equal to this i i so the value of i is 1 and the number present uh, at second index so it's not equal so we return the indices 1 and 2 here so in this way we have we look up the key in o1 time so we have reduced the time complexity for from o n square to o n so o n just uh, why o n only as we are traversing this array uh, for creating a map and then again we are checking whether a pair is present uh, pair is present in an array whose sum is equal to this target value so uh, this is our second approach which is much better than the first one which was uh, brute force so I, I highly recommend to use this approach for solving this problem and the time complexity for this problem uh, this solution is o n and uh, let's run this code if i run this code uh, see we get uh, the output which is one and two let's take another uh, number let's say nine and if we do the sum two and seven its value is nine so in uh, indices are zero and one let's see the output see the output is 0 and 1 let's take the sum let's suppose I am taking 45 and 40 if we do 45 so there is no pair present in this array which has sum equal to uh, 45 if we run this uh, program then we get illegal argument exception and let's verify it so see no pair is found so uh, so these are the two approaches to solve this problem and if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment section and for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash and thanks for watching this video